What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Moto X. You finally have your LG V20 in hand. You've already unboxed it, you've gone through the initial setup, but there still are a few things that you should do to get the best experience out of your new device. I'm gonna show you guys the first 10 things you should do to the LG V20. Let's go ahead and get started. I absolutely love the design of the LG V20. It's one of the only flagships that remain that has a premium build with that metal back and also a removable battery. The only downside to a metal back is that they're prone to scratching and they're also incredibly slick. That slickness means that you are more likely to drop your phone, but there is a remedy. To get rid of that slipperiness, all you have to do is add a slick wraps. Not only will a slick wraps protect your phone from scratches and take away that slipperiness, it's also gonna add awesome flair to your device. They have something for everybody. They have something for the Star Wars fan, for the Marvel fan, for the DC fan. Be sure to head to the link in the description and grab a slick wraps for your LG V20. You'll notice right away that the LG V20 is missing one key feature in Android. It has no app drawer. So turning on the app drawer is actually really easy. On the G5, you had to install a separate launcher altogether, but it's actually baked into this launcher. You just have to enable it. So you'll go into your settings and you will go into display, home screen, and go to select home, and then just simply tap this home and app drawer. And then now you'll notice that you do have an app drawer. One cool feature that you may want to consider turning on is the smart settings. You can make your phone launch a certain application whenever you arrive at a certain location. So like say whenever you get home, it'll turn on your Wi-Fi automatically and turn it off when you leave. Uh, or you can make it launch say Spotify, or Google Play Music whenever you insert headphones. So to do that, you're gonna go into your settings, go over to general, and then go to smart settings, and you can set whatever actions you want to take when you're at home or away from home, uh, or when your earphones are plugged in or when Bluetooth devices are connected. So we go to when earphones are plugged in, turn that on, and then you can actually choose an application to launch. So a good one to choose here would probably be Google Play Music. So now anytime I plug in my headphones, the Google Play Music application will launch. So just to show you what I'm talking about here, we'll go ahead and plug in the headphones and Google Play launches. So one thing that I found to be kind of annoying is that the keyboard doesn't have swipe function turned on by default, but that's easy enough to fix. Go into settings, go over to general language and keyboard, go to the LG keyboard, and then turn on path input. So now whenever you type, you can type using swipe. So one thing that I thought was really cool is that your LG V20 comes with 100 gigabytes of cloud storage via Google Drive, but you do have to claim that. So to claim that, all you have to do is open up Google Drive. And once you open up Google Drive, you'll receive a notification and it will ask you if you wanna go ahead and claim that 100 gigabytes. As you guys can see here, I have already claimed my 100 gigabytes. Next up, you wanna go ahead and set up your remote control. This phone actually has an IR blaster, which is awesome. It's one of the last phones to still include an IR blaster. You're looking for the quick remote application here. And then all you would have to do is tap to add a remote and you can add a remote for your TV, cable box, uh, any kind of audio device, air conditioner, projector, uh, or even a universal remote. So this thing is able to control just about anything in your house, which is pretty cool. Next up, you might as well go ahead and set up LG Health. And the only reason that I would set this up is just for a step tracker. Just open up the health application and you can see here, my goal is 8,000 steps and I've done 4,000 steps so far. Now there's a whole lot more you can do here. You can actually put in your weight and your weight goal, and it can assist you in losing weight or whatever. Uh, it gives you the total minutes of walking you've done and also the minutes of climbing that you've done. It's just a neat feature that it has that step tracker built in. So as you can see here, I actually have the battery percentage in my notification bar, and I didn't have to root my phone or install any type of mod. It's actually built into the settings. To turn that on, just go into your settings, go to general, battery and power, and then turn on battery percentage on status bar. So you'll notice up top here, the second screen has my name already there. Uh, LG actually sent me the phone with my name already built into the second screen. Uh, I imagine they're doing that for everyone, but to change that is real easy. Just press and hold, and then you can set your signature here. You can even change the font. So if I wanted to be Droid Monitor X, 
You can just type that real quick, save. Then you can also change the signature wallpaper. So we'll go into settings and set the wallpaper. So now whenever I go into my lock screen, you saw that it has a D there. Another thing that you'll probably wanna do is change the wallpaper or even the theme, which you can do that on this phone, just press and hold the home screen. Go to wallpapers to change your wallpaper. And there are several to choose from here, as you can see. And then to change the theme, you're going to settings, display, theme. And there are themes here that it comes with. So far they have one free theme, uh, which is this mint big wheel that you can actually download. If you go into the store, uh, there are several other themes, but you would have to pay for and download those separately. I'll just stick with the regular stock theme, but as you can see, there are several options if you wanna customize the look and feel of your device. So another thing that you may want to customize is the navigation bar. To do that, go into settings, go to display, and then home touch buttons. You can change the color of the background here. And then you can also change the button combination. You can add notifications to the nav bar, capture to the nav bar, and cue slide to the nav bar. And then you can just rearrange uh, the layout. To rearrange, you would just press and hold and then drag it anywhere you like. You're used to the Samsung layout. This is great because you can grab that back button and put it over on the right side and then put your recents on the left side. Now you've probably heard at some point that the blue light that comes from your screen can put unnecessary strain on your eyes that are gonna also keep you from falling asleep at night when you're looking at your phone. LG has a feature that's built into it to reduce the blue light in the display. So you go into settings and display and then go down to comfort view. You can turn that on and as you can see, it pulls the blue out of the display it makes the screen much warmer, so it has a yellowish tint, but that should help with any eye strain if you suffer from any type of eye strain from looking at your telephone screen. You wanna make sure that you turn on the Hi-Fi Quad DAC. The Hi-Fi Quad DAC gives you superior sound out of your headphones. It's like a built-in amp for your headphone jack, which gives you much clearer, crisper, high quality audio than you would normally have. And it really does make a difference. So if you turn it off, of course, you're gonna save a little bit of battery while you're listening to songs in your headphones. But if you turn it on, you're gonna have some of the best audio period on a smartphone. So the way that you would do that, of course, plug in your headphones and then pull down your settings and the feature is here. You just wanna make sure to turn it back on. All right guys, that about wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at DroidMutterX. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.